The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. I saw a story that there was a Yid who lived in Haifa, he happened to be a real estate agent. And he had a minig that every day after davening, he would shut off his phone, and before davening, obviously, and he would learn in Beis Medrash after davening until 11 o'clock. After davening, he took a Danish, a coffee, and then he would sit in the Beis Medrash at 11 o'clock, no phone calls. One time, his, 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 his wife left the house, and she met somebody on the street, and it came up that she has to tell her husband something very important right away. So she went to get her cell phone, and she sees that she has no cell phone. Where's the cell phone? She forgot it at home. So she forgot it at home, so what's she going to do? Very simple. She met someone on the street that she knew. She said, can I borrow your phone for a minute? And the lady says, yeah. So she used the phone. She called the husband. She didn't have a, a, a watch on her. She didn't realize that it's before 11 o'clock. Her husband's not going to answer anyway. But she called him. Lamaisa, it rang and rang and rang and rang. And, and finished. He wasn't answering, so she left the message. And she told him what has to be. Very good. Meanwhile, her husband finishes learning. And he opens up the phone. He opens up the phone. And a bunch of messages pop up. And a bunch of missed calls pop up. He decides that before he does the messages, he's going to do the missed calls. So he starts calling back every number that he got. And he says, hello, this is, whatever his name is, let's say, Chaim. This is Chaim from Haifa. I'm a real estate agent. You probably called me to tell me something or ask me something. Can I help you? And most people would say, no, Ta'ut was the wrong number. Or they would say, yeah, Chaim, yeah, I don't need a real estate. I just need to tell you that whatever it is. But this lady who he called back, she says, I don't remember calling you, but it's very good that I, that you called me because I actually need to do a real estate because I, I'm, I'm stuck. I don't have where to live. I have a Yerusha and I want to buy a house, but I don't want to buy only one house. I want to buy a multifamily so I could make money from the rentals also. So he says, I'd rather have a Gavaldiga eight of you, a great shot. Come to my office. And she came right to his office and she signed the papers and he went and took her with her husband to this building and showed them the building. And they bought it within two months. And Baruch Hashem, it made a very, very, very nice commission. So the Baruch Hashem says, you think that by closing your phone, people are going to tell you, you see, you're losing business, you're sitting and learning, and you're missing opportunities. But Gufa, because she, he, he had his phone closed, he made it because if he would have had his phone on, he would have answered the phone and it would have been his wife. And he would have spoken to his wife. And then he would have never called back that person, never got to talk to that person, he would have never made that money. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu says that people think they do certain aids that this should not happen. It does happen. HaKadosh Baruch Hu runs the world. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. StoriesToInspire.org